You can stroll at ease through the shopping malls without a care in the world. No traffic, no noise. Yeah, the sewer is right through like a tumor in them. Hello, I'm Jake, and I'm going to be talking to you today about how music in shops affects our buying habits as consumers. Like an organism, mechanism, despotism, poison. For me personally, I know that different types of music affect my mood and the things I want. So, for example, when I go through my music and something summery comes on, it makes me think I want something summery and to me that is mango juice. Music affects the way we as consumers shop for products and remain in stores. Studies show that when romantic music is played, people are more likely to want to go and buy flowers. When slower tempo music is played in restaurants, often people linger longer because of the slow tempo. This in turn causes us to spend more money on food and drink. The use of positive music helps to paint a positive environment around us. This subconsciously plants positive messages in our brain, making us want to return to the shop and shop there again. Whereas when shops play music which makes us feel uncomfortable or gives us an experience we don't like, often we remember that negative experience and it discourages us from going back to that shop and buying from them again. Shopping centres have a beating heart. You, uh, you know, they have to be looked after. Peter Cooper is in charge of 11 successful shopping centres around Britain. He recognises that unpleasant sounds in public areas often encourage a negative experience. <laughs> Cooper says, We want to tune in a good feeling so that shoppers stay longer and buy more. Julian Treasure is the chair of the sound agency. His job is to advise businesses on how to design a new sound with physical space available to them. In a TED talk, Julian said, Most of the sound around us is accidental, much of it is unpleasant. We stand on street corners, shouting over noise like this and pretending that it doesn't exist. Humans naturally oppress the sound and therefore our relationship with it becomes subconscious. 12 cycles per minute is the frequency at which a sleeping human breathes. Therefore, when sounds are played at this tempo, often we feel soothed and calm, making us want to stick around longer and shop more. We resonate the sound with being at rest or on holiday. Music is the most powerful sound in terms of altering our emotional state. Most retail sound is inappropriate and accidental and even hostile and it has a dramatic effect on sales. For those of you who are retailers, you may want to look away before I show this slide. Julian considered most sound in retail to be hostile and reduce sales. Inappropriate retail sounds cause the sales to fall by 28%. A few years back I went to a vintage sale and a song came on and I have no clue to this day what song it was but it had a really strong beat, it was slow, I felt relaxed and I felt comfortable in the store and it sounded like the type of music that should be played at a vintage sale and when I was there it made me think I should just treat myself and just buy things, I feel comfortable, I feel happy, why not? And I ended up buying this Versace headband and I ended up getting a huge deal on it. The music encouraged me to buy such a product. Research shows that with songs, often we start off kind of liking a song and then we eventually like it more and more until it hits a peak and then we start to get sick of the song and think it's overplayed. This, as I'm sure you will agree, is often the case with Christmas songs. Many radio stations across the country begin to play Christmas songs mm -hmm. exclusively. A lot of people get tired of the same old tunes. tunes. On December the 1st, the Christmas songs that we all know begin to play. This makes us feel happy and almost as if we have nostalgia from the years before when we've enjoyed Christmas. 
By the 15th, usually we're quite tired of the same tracks on loop. Therefore, by the 24th, we're often sick of the tracks and we just want Christmas to be over. Mm. <laughs> holiday appropriate music, combined with holiday like smells, often encourage us to want to shop in a place longer and feel this Christmassy vibe. John Lewis relies almost purely on Christmas adverts to get them the big books at Christmas time. John Lewis can be applauded for its success with Christmas adverts and their tear jerking quality. The song is so important for the adverts. The watching of the John Lewis Christmas advert is slowly becoming a Christmas tradition in many households and many schools. This year it was number one on the day of release. Somewhere Only We Know was covered by Lily Allen in 2013 for the John Lewis Christmas advert. This gained huge popularity and success and caused nostalgia in many of the people who knew the original version of the song. This encouraged them to want to buy it John Lewis and see the advert again. Her version surpassed the original version recorded by Keenan, topping the UK singles charts and selling over 600,000 copies. About a week ago I went in Superdrug and I looked at this product which was this orange skin serum and it looked really good quality and I was tempted to buy it but I just was not in the mood to spend my money on it at all and I had no idea why, I didn't really think about it and then today I went back into the shop and I ended up buying that product but then I wondered why did I not buy that before and I thought about it and I realised that I had my headphones in and I was listening to songs that were very empowering and made me feel like I should treat myself to be honest so it made me realise that maybe Superdrug should have played more empowering songs or their music a bit louder so that it would have given me the same effect and caused me to want to buy the serum.